Hello. Yeah. Hi. Good morning, everyone. I'm Shari Kansari, product engineer at Frappe. So I've been building Fra Frappe CRM for past two years now. So last year, I presented how Fra we shaped Frappe CRM. But this year, it is different. Our focus is different. Instead of building it for ourselves, we are listening, as Michelle said. And we listen to the feedback from our customer, partners, and community. And this really changed how we prioritized features. So one of the most important feature was Exotel. So Exotel, uh, we already had Twilio integration, but it doesn't work with Indian numbers. Most of our Indian customers asked for it. So we have added Exotel. So now both Twilio and Exotel work together. If you want to make one of them as uh, your default calling medium, you can do that as well. Next, we also added some improvement in our sales pipeline. And these are some of the features. So salesperson either sells a product or a service to the customer. And they needed somewhere to store this data. So we have added a product table in the deal page. Now they can store what service they are selling and what is the cost. And if they are selling multiple of uh, products, uh, they can see the expected deal value of that deal. Also, the probability is now automatically, it gets set automatically based on the deal stage. So each stage has its own probability, and it is customizable as well. And lastly, if deal, if deal is lost, now you can also capture the reason why it is lost, and businesses can analyze why uh, deals are getting lost and to make their uh, sales process better. But these all features in CRM make CRM more powerful out of the box. But businesses are different. So we also focused on making it, making it customizable. So this year, the biggest goal was to allow businesses uh, to set up the CRM on their own without any external help. So we added some low-code features. So CRM has, uh, every deal has some data, and you visualize that data at, at many places. For example, in the sidebar. And this sidebar can have multiple sections and fields, but it get easily cluttered, and you cannot add all types of data here. But so to solve that problem, we have added data tab. Now. This UI, you can add different types of data, like table. And you can also customize this layout using a UI editor. You can add tabs, columns, sections, all of them, all from the UI. Not only this, all over the place in CRM, like creation model also is now customizable using the same UI. So other than layouts, we also made, so salesperson uh, wants to quickly filter the data and work on the, the deals. So they needed some way to add those filters. And now you can do it from the UI. You can also rearrange them as you need. But of course, no, no code is not enough uh, to handle complex scenarios. Uh, we also uh, focused on improving our developer experience. And now we've added better scripting. For developers in the community, now writing client script is much 
easier, no need to remember complex syntax. Now we are following class-based approach and the code is very JavaScript friendly. As you can see the before and after, it is much cleaner and simpler to write. So coming to the other part of the CRM, where business take decision based on data, we finally added dashboard. Now managers can analyze the performance of the salesperson using the inbuilt charts. They can also filter using date and the use sales user. There are many in inbuilt charts like sales trend, forecasting, funnel, deals by territory, and many more. We have also made this customizable, so you can remove the charts you don't want and rearrange them as you need. We have also added forecasting feature, which, by the way, you can enable from the settings. After an enabling, now you can capture expected value of the deal, and this results in giving you the forecasted revenue of the deal on that particular month. Now, managing calls, meetings, and follow-ups is the key part of the CRM. So now we have introduced calendar view. Now, salesperson can view all their events on one view. They can switch between da daily, weekly, and monthly. They can create the event right from the calendar. They can rearrange it, they can resize it, or link it, or invite existing contacts or new contacts or, or link it with their existing deals. And deals in deals also we have added an events tab where all the events for that deal is listed. So many more features like Google Calendar integration, repeatable events, task management is work in progress. And many more features will come in calendar, and it will be released soon. And one, uh, one of the most requested feature from the community is campaign app, which is coming as an integration built by Frappe Studio. And Rucha is giving a talk tomorrow, so stay tuned for this. Also, to end with it, we also have, are working on social media integration. So Hussein is uh, from BWS Studio, is working on it. Using this, you can sync leads from various social media mediums like Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. So that's all about the features came to CRM this year. We are also, we have many more features in our pipeline, like more customization features, landing page, desk-free setup, as Michelle mentioned. We are moving from desk to front end, and automation, and many more. So that's all from my side. Thank you.